Welcome to the Toy Shack. This is located here off of Fremont Street, and this place is well known for more than one reason. Not only do they have a, an abundance of classic retro vintage toys, but an owner of this place is actually has been featured on Pawn Stars numerous times. He is the guy they call when they need to get a price or authentication on old toys that are brought in for Pawn. And this is his shop right here, the Toy Shack. And uh, it's tucked away here right off behind the Heart Attack Grill. And they're open to the public and invite you to come in and check it out. And we're gonna do that right now. So I'm not huge on toys. I don't know a whole lot about them. So I'm just gonna walk through, show you the stuff that I do recognize and some other stuff. And if you guys see anything that you think is really cool, amazing, or maybe have had it in the, as yourself as a kid, feel free to comment down below. But they do have a whole collection though of everything from new and old. And starting right here, they have a plush unicorn, some Native American stuff here. Race car is a $6 million man lunchbox or 50 bucks. Race cars, some train stuff too, which we're gonna be getting to. Oh, there's Batman and Robin, like a monument. Trading cards, looks like it was the Beatles. There's a Lionel stuff. A lot of Lionel stuff, wow. And I believe here too, they also accept, or I should say buy as well. So if you have stuff that you're looking to sell and it has some value, obviously come here and see what they're willing to offer but they add a, a huge collection of train stuff here i am i gotta kind of turn away because otherwise i'm gonna end up spending some money here that i shouldn't be spending big spider-man there taking our picture in the case here just all kind of collectibles tin toys bobbleheads dolls figures animals trains dozers Little like marionette dolls looks like almost. Really big variety of stuff here. Another train back there, the Western. They do have music playing in here, so I'm gonna to try to do my best to talk over it. Star Wars fans, they have you covered as well. They have a, uh, is that R2D2 up there? An AT-AT. All bunch of figures, Bendems for 1995. Eight bucks for others. Some of these look like new old stock as well. And then we have some figures here out of the box, but still in pristine condition. Big Darth Vader. Oh, the whole collectible here. Uh, Darth Vader, the Hulk. Is that Mr. Freeze, I think, right there? Who Arnold Schwarzenegger played, Star Trek. Some Darth Vader helmets. Uh, Star Wars cars. And there's a, something from Star Wars. It's like a little vehicle like a desert vehicle i don't know the true name of it though um what are these i forget the name of them i am um, Zoltar, the great oh. gypsy and Zoltar's talking to me your uh, um, too, no? dragon ball z i think that is if i'm not mistaken some old signage there's the chef from south park looks a army figure there and we have Captain America. Oh, there's Batman up there and the Joker. X-Men, all superhero stuff. Hot Wheels, Matchbox cars. Oh, here's like the racer tracks too. You use for like the loops or to race each other. I'm not gonna be able to show you everything here. I know that sounds repetitive because I say that in most videos, but again, I'm gonna give you good ideas to what they have, but you're gonna wanna come See this for yourself if you are ever in downtown Vegas. It's a really neat store. And if you like, you know, collectibles or rare, hard to find things, most likely you'll find them here. There's Skipper, that Barbie's little sister, Skipper. It's a strawberry shortcake. Brand new Hot Wheels here. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. There's a big monkey. Up top is covered. And then, oh, there's a Jeff Dunham. That's um, talking animatronic doll. That's Walter. I remember him. Debbie's dream house. So not Barbie's dream house, but Debbie's dream house. Creepy crawlies. Thank you. Hit the spot. What a 
pizzeria, electronic oh. pizza baker. Yeah, this one? Okay, let's go pay him then. This way. Elvis vehicle here, smoking the bandit. The bandit Trans Am. I'm sure I'm missing a lot of stuff you guys may be seeing more than I'm seeing because I'm only focusing on certain stuff here and trying to film. Casino, pinball, true action, electronic football, 201 electronic project lab, duck shoot. Boy, there's so many things. Some of these I actually am familiar with or do remember. Others I've never heard of before. So after filming, I'm probably gonna spend some more time in here just checking everything out. There's even dolls over here. All kinds of stuff. Oh, Alvin and the Chipmunks. Oh, look at the flasher from Gremlins. And there's the other one there. Oh, creepy Teletubbies. Ooh. Yeah, they're creepy. <laughs> there's Alvin and the Chipmunk telephone. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles in a half shell. Turtle power. Yes, I used to watch it as a kid. Mighty Morphin. I think it's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, right? Simpsons, Goosebumps. Oh, my friend Pat would love this. The real Ghostbusters Firehouse headquarters. He actually may have had that too. That is a cool piece. Love Ghostbusters. Oh, Elliot. <laughs> Phone home. And here's what Jill and Lily love. He-Man, Masters of the Universe stuff. Hordak. Uh, who else is there? I don't know. Drag, drag store? I know they know the characters more than I do. Dukes of Hazard with Daisy Duke. New Kids on the Block Buttons. There's uh, the real Ghostbusters, the, the knockoff cartoon series. Oh, some wrestlers, WWF. Let's see, it looks like uh, the one with the colored pants. That is um, Barber Beefcake. I can't remember his name. I also see Nikolai Volkov and um, is that Ivan somebody? Maybe Sergeant, yeah, Sergeant Slaughter I see. No, Sergeant Slaughter, not Ivan. Um, George the Barber Beef, I can't remember his name. I'll put it on the screen. You guys know, those of you who are uh, the original wrestling fans. And let's see, behind me here. Oh, he's weird, look at this one. Wacky Wobbler Bobble Bank Frankenberry, oh that's, thing from like the uh, cereal Frankenberry okay there's Nancy <laughs> little Lulu there's a uh, Bigfoot we found him he's done playing hide-and-seek wacky wobbler bobbleheads Flintstones monsters oh there's Booberry boy I have so many cool things oh Audrey too from Little Shop of Horrors Wow, this is like bringing back so many memories from like cartoons, movies, childhood stuff. Look, there was uh, Eddie Munster and his alter ego, the Wolfman. Here's some Munster house sets, vintage, um, not vintage, uh, porcelain sets. John Wayne. Little Lego figures here, Walking Dead. Oh, there's a uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Star Wars. Stay Puff, Michael Myers, X-Files. I know the X-Files, I used that uh, sound effect from it before. You know what, cue the X-File sound effect. <laughs> SpongeBob, SpongeBob Krabby Patty Mobile, more Walking Dead. Uh, the Blind Bags, Lord of the Rings, Sleepy Hollow, Sin City, Xena, Warrior Princess, I remember her, USA 96 basketball team, an Old West shooting set. Oh yeah, so you put these up and shoot them off the log. Some kind of shooting game. And let's continue over here, see what else we got. There's more gremlins, a lot of gremlins here. Some neons, lunch boxes. We got Sylvester, Snow White, Blondie, Divergent series, never heard of that one. Candy, 
And then over here we got a lot of classic vehicles here too. A lot of nice ones here, even some construction equipment. Forklifts, this would be good for train sets. I think these might even be a combination of like matchbox and maybe um, train skill vehicles. Even some airplanes. Oh, look at the motorcycles. Harley Davidson with the sidecar. Another Harley there. A bunch of Harleys. All different colors. I like the blue one, obviously. Up on top here. Texaco items. And there are some original tin toys up there. Dump trucks, cranes. Do you want two trains or one nice She actually works here. She's the one I was talking to earlier. Like she's trying to help a little kid. Uh, let's make our way over here. Look at this one. Star Wars with the... Is that an Ewok, I think? Is that a... No. Chewbacca. Press my belly. He's not doing anything. I thought it was an Ewok. In the back wall here, a lot of Pop or Funko figures. G.I. Joe. Cobra Mamba. There's Hulkamania. The, the pillow. Tonka trucks up there. So that was a look at the Toy Shack here. Again, well known from Pond Stars, which is also down here in Las Vegas. They don't allow filming. I've already checked into that, but Toy, Toy Shack does. I went in there, spoke to the woman who was working today. She's like, yeah, tag us on Facebook. So I will put their Facebook page down below in the description. Again, if you guys saw anything that you maybe owned as a kid or love to have again as an adult, feel free to tell me your thoughts. I saw a lot of stuff I'd love to have again. If I had an unlimited budget, I think I'd be walking out of here with a few bags full of stuff. But Something to look forward to the next time. If I come back, I will probably pick up a few pieces. But um, I'm definitely going to spend some more time checking out what I did miss because I was breezing through it just to give you guys a kind of highlight tour. But Toy Shack is fantastic. Highly recommend you checking it out right behind the Heart Attack Grill off of Fremont Street. And it's a, an amazing place. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a great time showing this place to you and reliving some of my childhood memories. And I want to thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next video.